Um, let's go, uh, let's go check maybe and trade. Let's go here. We're at uh, 75 points away. I thought Levy played well at times. He was not consistent, which is his biggest issue. Um, he needs to try and be more consistent. That's his biggest issue. Like, even in the I Am Not a GM event, um, he was not consistent enough, I felt, against James Canty. And if he's not consistent, I think it's going to be very difficult. Let's go here, maybe. I don't know. Am I going knight c3 or not? I'm really not sure. Yeah, I'm going to go knight c3, d4, knight b5, I guess. And we'll keep going. I think we'll go um, here. Uh, by the way, to be clear, you guys, um, I will start the speed tracker or the eye tracker speed run soon, but I do want to finish this first. And we're about 75 points away, so I really do want to finish this. Let's take and take. I could have taken with the bishop too, I guess. It's a weird move. Let's go here and move the knight. Bishop is weird. It's on a dead diagonal now, and my knight's in the way. I really do like my position here. Let's go here. Maybe knight c4, maybe just bishop f4 actually. It looks pretty good. Queen h5 coming. I can take and go here. I think queen h5 looks really good. I can also go knight c4. Wait, if I take. Take, take, queen h3. Then there, then takes. King g1. Queen h3. Feels like it should be good, but I don't see it, so I'm just going to go here. I think this is good takes I fork him here and then I take with the pawn and he can't avoid the triple fork yeah it's a croissant avec fromage and jambon and jambon actually no sorry I have turkey not jambon but anyway whatever it's all the same <laughs> I, I know it's not jambon I'm just I'm, I'm having fun with you guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yes. Final score is 12 and a half, six and a half. That was the final score. <laughs> oh, we're going to get a win, so let me mark it up. Yeah, this guy's doing what Bordnick did yesterday. He's uh, doing the disrespectful, run out the clock rather than resign. What am I eating? I'm eating a croissant with um, with uh, turkey and uh, fromage. Or fromage, I should say. How many hours till 3K? Uh, I think if I, I think pretty soon, probably. Okay, he goes here. I don't really know why he wasted all day. I mean, 97 is good. Actually, the funny thing is, this is not clearly winning, but he spent all his time sulking. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna punish him. I'm just gonna go here. I speak French well, yes, of course, because we're all about that jambone, and um, we're all about that jambone and that fromage. I, I just, I mean, everything is winning here because he, he spent 20 years thinking. So let's just go here and take. Um. Go here. I miss seeing you go to the TSM facility every day. It feels bad, man. Yeah, I mean, I want to go back, but they had to do a bubble because somebody tested positive for COVID. So, like, 
you know, it's it's I'll play again. Let's keep going. Um, but yeah, it's it's what to do. Someone got it, so they, they did a bubble, and I mean I, I mean I have a grandmother out in the desert who's not doing well, so um, I can't really commit to that. Um, I have to be careful here. Let's go here. Maybe knight e6 is a move. I think I'll play h5. Maybe knight c6. Maybe c5. <clears throat> that, however, looks like a bad move. So now I hit the juice when I go e5. I should be okay now. My, my position is not good, by the way, to be clear. Um, it's going to require some special moves. Maybe I just go c6 or maybe bishop c5 even. I'm just going to go here to consolidate or try to at least. He goes 92. I think I just trade. If takes, I go here. If takes, I mean, it's not great. Um, <clears throat> I think I just go like, uh, maybe just. It's actually really quite ugly for me. Hmm. I'm going to go here and maybe here. Or did I just blunder? I might just. Mm, maybe not. We'll see. Go here, force a trade. My Mr. Streamer, your position might have been better if you didn't move the king forward. <laughs> Good one, dude. I do have f5 here, actually, I realize. What about just this and this? Can I take? I was eating a croissant with jambon and fromage. Uh don't want to take I mean I feel like I should be okay oh uh, wait I can also wait I can just take I'm stupid let's go here hit the rook knight g3 next move we're gonna win let's chalk this up okay we're at 300 so we just keep rolling Okay, checks. I just bring the king up. So rook f2. There's also e3 at the right moment. So sh what? This is just classic checkmate. Okay, we're playing Elianov. Let's see. <laughs> he just says no and late and leaves. I was hoping he wouldn't know who I was, but anyway, he did. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> I, I had a feeling that would happen. Anyway, we're 60 away. We're getting close. Let's go here, Bishop B4. I don't think this should take me more than an hour, though, if, if, if I do this correctly. Let's go here. Let's go here and take, I guess. 
I was hoping you wouldn't know who I was. I mean, it's just I just have a picture of Snoop Dogg. Like, it's nothing special. Let's go here. C3, Bishop D6. C4, I go Bishop E6, I guess. I think just here and take is fine. <clears throat> I can always play... Maybe... Um, I think I'm going to go here. I definitely want to stop this. Okay, it goes there. Play knight a6, maybe. I can also just go, maybe just rook e8. Keep it really stable and simple. King g8, next move. Yeah, this is actually really dangerous, I just realized. Yikes. I'm going to go here and try to move the bishop. If takes, I just take and drop back. This is actually really dangerous. So, yeah, basically, I need to finish this off before we do the... Um, uh, before we do the, uh, before we move on, I think I'm gonna go here. <clears throat> he, I guess he just goes a3. Goes c5. Very interesting move. Um, I'm gonna take and just go here now. My knight is not great, but I feel like this diagonal is very, very good. Let's go, let's go here and bishop f5, of course. Maybe bishop g4. Okay, a4 is a strange move. Let's play a5. And bishop f5, of course. Okay, goes bishop d1. Logical move. I think I'm just going to move my king here. Get it to the safe square. And then maybe bishop g4. Maybe f5. Maybe bishop e4, even. Knight a6 is what I want to do. I'm going to go here, I guess. And... Oh, but he put the bishop on e2. I didn't actually realize bishop was on e2. Okay, let's just go be a little bit careful here. Let's go here. Queen b6, queen b8 is fine. Again, I think I can play like queen d7 and rook a8 now and put pressure on the pawn. Move the knight. Should be doing well. Let's go here. <laughs> I'm a big fan. Can you hear my message? I want to tell you something very funny, dude. But um, but anyway, yeah, we're just, it's it's all good. Maybe I just go queen d8. Not really sure what I'm doing here. I feel like I'm just wasting time and moves and something. I can also play h5 here, but I think I'm just gonna go queen d8 for now. Let's go here. Just drop back. Goes rook b1. Wait, I can take? I think I should just take. I have rook a3. I also have rook a2. I also have rook a8. I think I'm just going to go here to hit the bishop laterally. Because he wants to put the bishop on d3. So I want to stop him. I can go f5. Maybe knight f8 actually looks bunky. But I think it's right because I need to hold the bishop so I can move the queen. Because the bishop holds my whole chain together. Maybe not rook a4. Not queen a8. Um, I kind of want to go f5, but I can't make it work. If I do this, queen a8's a... I mean, I don't really want to do it, but I'm up on the clock, so it's fine. Actually, I'm not up on the clock, but I'll do it anyway. It's an end game. He's got two bishops. It's not trade rooks. That's a big mistake. Okay, but the knight's not going anywhere. That's a mistake, because now he boxes knight, and it's not hitting anything. And now his pawn's under attack on d4, so it's a very bad move. Let's go here, target the juicer. Let's go here. Again, his knight is just stuck on the rim of the board. It has no jumps. Uh, so I should be doing very well here. I kind of want to go g6 and just like h5. go here I don't know if G I feel like the king belongs closer to the center of the board okay let's go for the kill with rook before okay he's trying okay but now I go here and I start to unwind him Now his knight again is dead on the rim. Let's go here, target the juicer. I guess he can go back. Is that a slip? That might have been a slip. I don't know, but I don't care. I'll just play h5. Let's just 
go here maybe. Okay, now I'm gonna rotate the horse. Um, his knight is still dead. It just has no hops. It's just completely boxed. Like the, it's just so dead. Let's go here. My H pawn is rolling. Let's go check. I'm gonna win this one too. Okay, we win again. Let's keep going. go here I'll play d4 again I got a good position last game so why not uh let's go here I uh, this guy I feel like he's a wait what's that wait okay for the first time ever with the bond cloud I'm actually up material and I'm doing very well it's a free juicer let's just eat it let's go here This might be the first time I'm ever winning with the Bond Cloud. Now, he does have this Knight G4 check, but I'm actually, I think I'm happy to do this. Or I thought I should be happy. Maybe I shouldn't be happy. But I assumed I should be happy with this exchange. Let's go here. If Rook D1, I just move the Knight. If Knight B4, I move the Knight. Wait, that's got to be a bad move. Let's go check. Go e5. Because now I have h3 to remove the horse. Let's just drop back. Uh, I don't actually know which score is right, but I'll go to this one. But now I can kick the horse out. And once I kick the horse, I start to outplay him. I just go like here, knight d2, and now I'm winning and I'm going to win the game. This is good. Go here. Yeah, we're just going to get the win. Pick up another dub. Just go here. I can play c4, but I think just rook d1 is better. Mark it as a win. Yeah, it's a bond cloud. The bond cloud is like the op most OP opening of all time. Literally the most OP opening of all time. Okay, I have c4. Okay, I'm, I'm actually not clearly winning the way that I thought I should be. But whatever. Let's just go a4, a5. I'm, I'm, I'm up upon an end game, and I'm like 300 points better than this dude. So if I can't win, then, you know, I don't deserve to win. Let's just go here. I don't know if A6 is right, but I want to try to smash a center at some point. Maybe like... I want to... Actually, you know, let's just go C4, Rook, C1, and takes, maybe. It's actually not right, but whatever. <clears throat> I need to focus. I'm kind of misplaying this. I still should win this, but this is actually not clear at all anymore. I guess I have Rook A5. Yeah, I can't believe I did this. I was up two pawns and winning. Now it's going to be very tricky. I guess I go here. If rook b3, just rook c3. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you for the 420. Thank you, man, with the glove for the three. Vioc for the 420. Vioc, thank you so much. I think I go here to trade. I don't know if it actually matters which rook I move, but this feels like the right rook. Wait, what's that do? I just take? Did I miss something? I don't think I did. He just blundered. Not that this is clearly winning, but it's he blundered. Well, so first things first, I should make a check. That's a a huge that's a very very bigly blunder so i go 94 and 96 and he just loses i have e67 too that was just that was such a bigly blunder by him there's no need for that well he, he could have just um he could have just traded the rooks let's keep going maybe i oh, oh right sorry i forgot for a second that i can't play i was about to go g6 i forgot that that doesn't work <laughs> okay let's go here let's go here maybe d5 Is that a bad thing? Thank you to the Pogachu for the Prime, Stony Fur for the Prime. Thank you to Itchy Ch Chimera with the Prime. 
Big Sully with the D and Pete Zava Jarian with the Prime and Beastly with the Prime and Eski with the Prime and El Boss Man with the Prime, FK Cobra with the Prime, Chicken and Waffles with the Prime, an Angry Mexican Man with the Tier 1, Carrots SC with the Prime, Pure Jake with the Tier 1, Wish You Well with the Prime. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Um, let's go here. I guess I'll go here. Okay, I gotta attack. This is not a good position, but to be clear, I'll take. Okay, he finally blunders. He should not have done that because now he let me jump with my horse. It's still not great for me, but it's play playable, I think. Just take. Did I just blunder F6? No, because I have knight G6 or something. Or knight F5. Just blundered. I just blundered. That was so stupid of me. Yes, garbage. Should have gone rook f7 too. Wasn't paying attention for one second. I'm going to lose this game now. I just forgot that he had f6. So stupid because if I take the pawn, I just win the game. Trying to go for 3k, it's going to be very hard though, because I will lose games. If I get the right opponents, maybe I won't, but objectively, I'm going to lose games somewhere, so it's going to be difficult. I wish my king was on h8 here. It goes knight h4, which is good, but I think h4 is just crushing. Um, hmm, how can I survive this though? It's so bad. Um, take d4. No, I guess I take and pray, basically. Wait, actually, yeah. Okay, this is fine. Oh, does he ever... G7? Okay. This is really, really bad. Mike's gone bad? What do you mean? My mic is okay. What do you mean? Thank you to Inns Wave. Thank you so much for the uh, Prime. Thank you to J-Mans for the Prime. Root and Asif with the Prime. Thank you so much. Let's go back. I mean, I have Queen A4 here as well. Okay, I go here. This is my last hope to go for the checkmate. I think I'm okay somehow. I'm not okay, but I'm okay enough that I can maybe play more moves. <clears throat> oh, he's thinking so long here, it's nuts. Okay, but now I can, I can even just take, because I have a check. I should have maybe gone here right away, but whatever. Let's go here. Takes. I guess I just go here. Let's go here. Um. Why did I do that? That was insane. Okay, he missed it. Now I can flag him. Good. Now I get to flag him. Let's go here.
keep going. Really, really tight game, but we got the win. Really, really close. Really, really close game. I mean, really, really close. But we got the win. Win is a win, right? He moved really fast the end, too. Okay. okay let's go here. Let's go here. I did not mark that last one. No, I did not mark it. I, I did not mark that very last one because I did not predict that one. Well, I get the 3K today. I'm going to try. We'll see. We're 48 away. We're about like roughly 10 games, give or take. Oh, jeez. I gave him C. Ah, this is ugly. Do a B4A4 maybe. I did mark it. I did not mark that one for sure. I mar I might have marked the game before. I definitely didn't mark that one. Let's go here. I'm going to go here in c 4 maybe. Hit the bishop. Bishop a3. Again, this pawn on d3 can be great, but it can also be really... I'm going to go here so that no c6, because now I fork his rooks. Bishop holds the square. And then I want to go like knight h3 maybe and defend. This That one I definitely didn't mark. So I go here. No knight f4s, because I can just, uh, just take. Okay, so what's he angling for here? I just have to be careful. Knight f4, I just take. What is he angling? I don't see any angle. I also have f4 maybe, but I don't trust in it at all. So I'm just gonna go, go rook f1 or rook e1. I think rook e1. There's no. And I don't see it, but I'm I'm really leery that there's some something I'm missing. I mean, maybe it's just safer to take. It's probably just safer to take. Yeah, it's probably just safer to take and play rook e1, rook e3, knight f2. I don't know if I needed to, but it just, it feels like that bishop was really dangerous. Let's go here. Maybe knight f2 at some moment. Okay, now he goes f5, but I think that's actually a very bad move. Maybe bad move's too strong a way of putting it, but I don't think it's the right move. Let's take, let's go here. If knight f4, I just take the knight. I can even go queen f1 here to target the pawn again. I'm going to move the king out of the way. I have to remember to move my king. If this bishop is also insane because it stops work f8, so he can't, he can't use a diagonal. <clears throat> I think now I go knight e4. Knight f4, I just take and go king h1. I'm safe. Let's go king h1. Not takes any as the fork, um, so I got to sidestep it. Now g4 is an epic threat. Rook d3 is an epic threat. I think I'm doing very well here. Very well, maybe an overstatement, but I should be doing well. Let's go here. The knight d5, just rook d3, knight e4. I can take with the pawn, maybe? I don't know who's better here. It's very tricky. Oh, uh, Levy lost, unfortunately. He, he lost to, or not, well, I mean, he played someone who's just better than him. I guess, unfortunately, it's not the wrong word, because he played someone who's a better player than him, and he lost. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Take and take. I just queen g4. I thought, wait, doesn't he just resign? And now you resign. My, or he's got h5, h3, and now you resign because you have to trade because it's my queen. This is like the, the super small wooden shield. h3 has to trade, get forked, and get lost. Let's keep going. Yeah, that was like the mini wooden. That was the mini wooden shield. Okay, I can go, I mean, I can play the same line that I played before. Uh, let's go here. This is like kind of some weird French opening. King G8 French defense, basically. Let's go back. So I manually castle my king here. I can play B6, I guess. It's a move. I can also just go. Oh, I don't like my position at all here. I guess I'll just go. No, let's go here. I don't know if it's good, but let's go here. Knight g6 is also an interesting move, potentially. It goes c4, goes all in. Okay, now I have to retreat, because otherwise I'm going to end up... My bishop's going to get trapped somehow. 
For how OP the ball cloud is, you sure had up not liked the position. She got thank you to Fuzzwhipper for the prime. Thank you to um thank you to Sad Killwell, the Prime Seaver, actually the Prime, Hanzo Dimitri for the Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you to Silver Spirit, Haystone as well for the Prime, Guard with the Prime, Bob C9 with the Prime, Surfer with the Prime, Colasser with the Prime, Cart TR with the Prime, Danger with the Prime, City Kirk with the Prime, Super with the Prime, Tank with the Prime, Majunjur with the Prime, Andrew Cool with the Prime, but how with the Prime, Zalmox with the Prime, JP Rare with the Prime, ASF0310 with the Prime, and Perch with the Prime, Why So Smap with the Prime, John 1960 November with the Prime. Thank you so much. Uh, this is a speed run, as I just realized, so I kind of should actually like try to focus on playing quicker. What am I doing? Okay, B6 is a move. I'm gonna do it. I don't know if it's good, but it looks fine. Thank you to Ephrenius with the tier one, Crispy Poo with the tier one. Thank you so much. Now I want to go Bishop A6 here. Is it a move? I think I should. I'm gonna take first and go here. I don't know. I don't know which order is right, but let's do this. So it's worried Bishop A6 or some C5 takes takes. Although actually, why is he? Let's just do this. Let's go here. D5 I can take. I have Knight A5. It's not great, but it's not terrible either. Let's go here. I definitely want to go Rook D8. Maybe okay. Or Knight A5 C6. Maybe let's just go here. Hit the Queen. Let's go here. Close the center gap. I go knight b7, knight d6. Thank you for the three bucks uh, as well. Thank you to K Diesel for the five gifts. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to X Camway with the tier one. Thank you to Period of Skill with the Prime. Oh, Rife with the Prime. Thank you so much. Let's go here. Thank you to Ann Court Chief with the Prime. Dazen with the Prime. Little Richie with the Prime. Thank you so much. Um, I want to take here. I can take it. Maybe go knight. Just, uh, if I take, he's got 95. So let's go here first. Thank you to Sat Vikel with the Prime. The Splatoon with the Prime. Thank you to Widels for the Prime. Watch Rev Rage with the Prime. Thank you so much. I mean, F5 is a logical move. It's not a great move. Um, I play this. I can take and go rook. I think I just take and go rook here. I don't like the position, but it's what it is. And I'm too slow because I was thinking all my all my uh, all my subs. Let's go rook e8. They do red phone for the two. Doug W with the two. Sam Biv with the two. That's a bad move. Let's just take. Don't I take and take? My my man, you just blundered a juicer. What are you doing? Wait a second. Wait 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 wait. Take and take. I have Rook F5. I also have Rook D8 just to consolidate, hold my juicers. And if I can kick this horse out from this very dangerous square, I should be doing very well. I'm too slow because I'm looking at my subs. Keeps on looking at subs. <laughs> True. Thank you to Wingus Dingus for the nine. Thank you to Paradox for the three. Okay, I got to be careful. Um, I really want to kick this knight, but I can't do it. Let's just bring the knight back. Oh, I'm way too slow. Okay, let's focus. Way too slow. One sec. Why did I do this? So stupid. I flubbed this.
go again. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I got to mark it up one second. Lose like five seconds, but who cares? It's all good. Oh, we get the win. Let's keep going. I'm getting too old for this game. Let's go King G2. Let's play D3. Maybe E4 next move. Um, and we just keep rolling. I think I can play E4 here. I mean, it's just chess. It's no big deal. It happens. It's so easy. I mean, everybody could do that. <laughs> Let's go to <knight> C3. <laughs> <I'm at> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not that hard. Just, just boot up chess.com, start a new game, and it's just, I mean, anybody can do it. It's so easy a caveman can do it. It's a free pawn. He can't take because he loses the queen. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking, of course, obviously, but yeah. Ego, ego, he, ego, he is coming back. Yes, ego Edward is back. Um, <laughs> no, but I really did want to win that game because I, I, I felt like I. Okay, it's going nice. Oh, that's actually a good move. I guess I take. Maybe G4 here. Okay, it takes with the F pawn, which I think is bad. Okay, let's consolidate the, the pawn. At some point, I go G4 anyway, I think. Like, maybe next move. Let's go G4. If here, I just take and reroute my horse. Let's go here, consolidate. Aha, he plays this. That's a good move. I'm going to go H4, H5 here, basically. Uh, if Knight F4, I just take and drop back. Make sure there are no tricks. Take, I just take. Okay, that's a strange move. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Um, guess I go here. I gotta hold this third rank against Sax. My knight on D F one is really bad, actually. Let's go here. Again, no Sax. Okay, let's go here. Knight D three. Again, I hold all the squares here. Very important. Although now he misplayed this because even though he gets a knight to G five, I just move my rook and I hold. I hold all the glue here. Everything is held. Maybe C5, maybe A5 even. There's still no sack. So if there's no sacrifice on any of these central squares, I'm always fine. So let's go here, B4. Take all the space here on the queen side. As long as there's no sack to break the chain, I'm happy. Like takes, I take. Takes, I take. Okay, let's go here. Everything is holding. So. Uh, I should be winning here if I play this correctly. I could even try to rotate the horse and trade off his good horse here, but I won't do it. Or actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's hold all the glue. Let's hold the glue like this. My knight, we create the 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 the, uh, the T model. You know, the four T. Um, the the T model here this is just classic T formation with the knight and the pawns. So first things first, I'm going to remove the uh, remove the horse, and then I'm going to rotate my other horse to this square because this horse can jump. It can go one, two, three. So let's rotate the other horse around. Oh, sorry, it's the F. Sorry, the F is the uh, Ford. Okay, whatever. Nobody cares about Tesla anyway. Let's play C3 and takes. Uh, let's go knight B6 here and knight D5. Let's go here. Um, just take the pawn. I can take or take on f4. And now his whole position kind of starts to collapse. He resigns. Let's keep going. We're killing it. There's another win. We're up to 306 now. I'm gonna play abridged. Okay, let's go here. I'm not gonna forget to go king f7. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna manually now. Okay, now I'll do it. Okay. Farm into 3k. I'll try. No guarantees, but I will try. Need a stream deck to, to increase count. Well, I'm doing it with a Google Doc, so not exactly like that, but yeah. Let's go here. Someone said play Knight G6, so I'll do it. Uh, I guess I'll go C6 here and consolidate my structure. Oh, this is a problem. Gotta be careful, let's focus. Go here, maybe King G8. Okay, goes Knight C3. Trying to get me to trade. Do I really want to trade? Is a question. I can obviously just take. 
Maybe I should have done this before. I'll ro remove my king out of danger. Put the bishop back here. Very important that I stop any d5 threats. Although, did I? I don't think I did. I should have played f5 first. Or di did I? Wait, no, I have 97. Not so clear. So I can also just take and take. I think it's okay. Did he smoke? No, I've had a lot of coffee today, so my teeth are yellow. I think I can go like... Uh... Let's go here and hopefully... I don't know. I don't like my position at all, so I'm gonna drop back this way. Oh, sorry, you meant smoking something else. Sorry, I'm so I'm sorry, I'm brain dead today. I'm sorry, you you meant something else. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Okay, plays h4. I kind of want to play f5. I think I will do it now. Kick the horse. If here I have the fork, if here I can kick. Do I kick or do I move? I think I kick the horse. Let's kick the horse. It goes H5. I think I just rotate my other horse back to F7. Let's just rotate this horse to a good square. I can always put my bishop back here. At some moment, maybe even C5. Let's go here. I feel like I'm starting to unwind this a little bit. I can just go like... B6 is also moved. This is actually probably bad, but um, let's just go here. Mark it as a win. This one, I'm not sure. This one is very messy. Can obviously trade. I think I just trade and go here. Close the ideas. He would have loved to have pushed to do that, that, and that, and that, but I get to close it, so now it's okay. And now I can play here B6. Actually, B6 looks quite good, I think. Let's go B6, maybe Bishop D7 next move. I think I'm doing very well suddenly. Okay. Also, just a fun little trivia fact, but I did see uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire live. I think it was 2000 and uh, eight, if I remember correctly, in in New York City at Carnegie Hall, if I remember, um, I saw that I saw them live perform at Radio City Hall, wherever it was. Um, I saw them performing live, and and it was it was really cool to to see them in in concert. Let's take and go here. I mean, Knight C5, maybe Rook D8. Time for you to resign. I just take and go e5, and it's time for him to resign. <laughs> okay, let's take the juicer. <laughs> let's take. <laughs> let's go, uh, bishop c8, hit the knight, hit the bishop. It's, I mean, yeah. I can play knight c5 here, which is good. I also can go knight d6. I can also just take. Why not? Let's go here, hit the rook, hit the bishop, time from good. Just basically resignation it. Let's keep going. Remember. Let's go here. Close the center again. King g2. I feel like I'm getting good positions. I just updated, didn't I? What do you mean? I just updated. It's 307. I just updated it. Uh, yeah, let's go A4. Let's go. I can actually go here. I think I just go back, though, because C4 I just take anyway. go here close the uh close the center create a uh flying v it's just the flying v of course you have the you have the two for you have the two forwards a forward and then you have the two defensemen i can always take on e6 here and go g4 again 
Let's go G4, kick the horse. Let's go here. The flying V formation, of course. As everybody knows, anybody who watched, anybody who's old watched D, the Mighty Ducks. Yo, Hikaru, you suck. You suck. I know. Thank you, man. Much love. Much love, dude. Much love to you too, my friend. Much love. Much love. Let's go Knight H3. Let's go F4, Knight F4 here. Uh <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, one second. Sorry. I don't know why that just cracked me. I'm going to go H6. Let's just keep rolling. I don't even know if I actually have to take, but like, do I want to take or do I just go for the kill? I think I just go here and knight g5. Yeah, he does this. But the problem is, first of all, I can trade everything down. Again, this feels bad. Let's take. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. Let's go here. Boom. Now, if he pushes the pawn, okay, he does that. If you push the pawn, I check, 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 and then I fork the king and the queen. Um, so that's why he's doing this. Thought I had bishop a3 for starters to hit the queen. I also have queen f3 too. Like, everything is really collapsing here. Okay, I think I go here, hit the, hit the knight. Oh, I, wait, no, I take and take. I almost just threw this away. I think I just take. Did I just blunder? I kind of blunder, but I think I can get away with it. I can get away with it because I, I hit both things at the same time, but it was not very good. Okay, rook b2 is a good move. Um, very tricky. Takes, takes. Let's have D2, Knight H6. Wait a second. Here? Are we going to get an Arabian checkmate? I think we are, because I have this and mate. And he goes here, here, and takes. I saw him on A8, and he gets, he gets a ladder. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Arabian checkmate incoming. Oh, uh, this is a checkmate XUC did not know about when he played against Logic uh, in their match about a, two and a half months ago, I think it was. Uh, but it's a classic Arabian checkmate where the knight and the rook hold. So I go here and checkmate. It's it's basically just the king can't get out of the box. If he comes up, I check him. It's another win. Okay, plays a3. Okay, he's mad. He's he's very angry. Oh, I gave him d5. I shouldn't have given him this. Let's go here, I guess. Three thousand is the goal. Yes. Um, I can obviously take at some point, but I'm just gonna go here. I mean, this is safe, primus. So we'll do it. Do the Armenian helicopter technique. I don't even know what that means, but hey, cool story, bro. Okay. Gotta be very careful here. Okay, um this actually looks very bad. How do I do this? Go here. Like here. This could be really bad. At least I have a check. I have no development on these three thingies. That's the problem. One second. This is actually really bad. C3, queen d5.
I have to do it though and hope. I don't see anything else that makes sense. This is really bad. Maybe I could have gone B6 and Bishop A6 actually. So Queen F3, Rook F8. He misses it. He makes a check. That's good. Knight g5 was a terrible move. I think queen f3 and c4 was winning almost by force for him. Go for the flag. He's got a minute and 45. Because, folks, e4, knight e4, knight e4 is good. Push b2. Knight e4, Just take the juicer. Why not? It's two juicers. If I can get the pawn, if I can get the connect five, I'm in great shape. Okay, let's go check an E3. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go E3. He still is 94, I guess, but I'm, I'm, this is improving vastly from what it was. getting very weird okay wait takes this is bizarre does he actually can he actually get away with this huh I think he can weird okay let's just go here then I'm up how many juicers on the talk at sink sink set we enough or er, 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 set Un, deux, trois, cinq. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, set. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm up two juicers. I can trade. Again, I want to take, but I can't make it work. It's ridiculous. But whatever. Let's just trade. I'm up two pawns. Like, or three pawns, sorry. Yeah, I'm up three pawns. I said sink, yeah. I'm gonna play e5, b6, c5. Okay, first things first, get the knight out of there. Let's get the knight out of dodge. Let's build our center. I mean, it's hard to believe this isn't just great for me. I'm up two pawns. Big, big center. Very good stuff. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Kulex the Great. Thank you so much. I'll get to more subs in a, in a bit. Um, but I just, I need to win this game. We need to get to keep the adoption alive. I'm also way up on the juicer clock, so it, it's all good. Let's go here. Actually, the clock, sorry, not the juicer clock. Uh, let's just go here. Pressure on the knight. Let's go here. Knight b3, maybe. b5 is coming. It's getting better and better with knight b3. Let's kick the bishop. Oh, I have knight d2, I guess. Yeah, not, not, a, not ideal, but it's still winning. Hit the bishop, take the square. Take the square. Let's go check take. Let's just eat the juicer. Let's go. Okay, we get the win. Let's rematch. Wait, what happened? What happened? I want to play him again. I can't play him? What? There we go. Let's go here. Let's go, dude. Let's go. That game was really ugly. I got really lucky. I should have lost that one. Let's go D4. Build the center. I can play an end game here. Let's just play an end game. Because I'm a grand master and he's not. So I should be able to beat him in an end game. Or you would hope I can. If I can't, then I'm pretty terrible. Let's go here, hit the knight. Oh, he's got this, but then knight a3. Let's just take the juicer. Let's just develop our other juicer. Play c4, knight c3, I guess. Knight c3 is always a move, I guess. <laughs> How is endgame? Endgames are positions where there are no queens on the board, basically. Okay, that's a 
very poor decision by my opponent. I'll go here to trade. Because the one thing he had is he had the two bishops on the board. And in return for the, the uh, disastrous double stack of pawns, he had the bishop pair. Now he doesn't even have that anymore. Um, let's just go here. Take space in the center of the board. Hmm, let's go here. Okay, I guess I go here. Not easy to win this, but again, he has double pawns. So long term, I should win because of that. Bishop d6, yeah, then I go c4, c5. But you are right that he should have done that, yes. Are you allowed to draw arrows? I mean, I assume you can, but like, I, I think if anything, you lose time, you lose, you lose your uh, concentration if you do that. So I would never even do that. Oh, did I blunder this? Eh, kind of. Uh, so let's take and bring my king over. Tough position, hard to play, but I think I'm better. Mubot has the wrong song. Let's go. This is good. Again, big shout out to everybody who's watching. Hope you're having a fantastic afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are in the big wide world. Hope you guys are doing well during these crazy times. I can play B4 maybe at some point. I think I'm going to go B4. I don't know if it's right, but I want to restrict this juicer. Yeah, I blundered this. I still think I'm going to win the game, but I'm not happy at all. Rook eight, maybe knight b5 is a move. Okay, he goes king c5, which I just realized was also a move that I completely forgot about. It's going to require some special technique to win this, because I've really misplayed this. He's way too slow, though. Okay, eight, I do have knight b5, maybe, but I think I'm just going to go here. So I have rookie one, maybe. Okay. Okay, but now he blunders this, so I hit everything. He's gonna flag. He just doesn't have the time here. Let's take the juicer. Let's go here and check, I guess. Yeah, he just he doesn't have the time to figure it out. Let's go here. We're gonna flag him. Oh, I should've got 96 actually. Um, let's go here maybe. Okay, we get the win.